Hello, my name is Tony, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can dictate into a Word document using commands to format, delete, even create numbered lists, all without using your keyboard. If you want to learn more tips like this, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right track. What I'm covering in this video today does require a Microsoft 365 subscription and I'm currently logged in to office.com. Now you can dictate using the desktop version, but it's not as streamlined as this version. So let's get started. So if I go into Word, create a new document and to start dictating under the home tab, you've got dictate. So down here at the bottom, you've got your dictation toolbar, which you can move. So I'm gonna move this over here to the left. Before I start dictating, I just wanna go over a couple of things. So if I click on help, so as you dictate, there's various commands that you can use along the way. So let me show you. So down here on the right, if I click punctuation, there's various punctuation commands that you can use. You've got editing, formatting. So there's various commands that you can use and I'm going to show you some of these in this video today. Before you start dictating, I would recommend going to settings and then switching on auto punctuation. It just makes it easier for you. So to start dictating, you just click on the mic there or you can press alt and the apostrophe and it will start it. So I'm just gonna go through how to dictate now uh, using the commands. So to start dictating, I just need to click on this mic or I can use the keyboard shortcut, Alt and the apostrophe. Hello, my name is Tony and this is my channel, Ready Steady Excel. So as you can see there, it's so quick and easy to create a sentence. And what I really love is that it does the punctuation automatically. So in there, you've got the comma, you've also got the full stop. So I'm now gonna go through some of the deleting commands. So let me show you. Delete last word. Delete last two words. Undo. Undo. Backspace four. Backspace 10. Delete sentence. So as you can see there, you can delete words. So you can specify the number of words that you want to delete. When you backspace, you can say backspace on its own, it will just backspace once. But you can also backspace the number of characters. So how many times you want it to backspace. And at the very end there, I said delete sentence and it deleted the whole sentence. Okay, so let's have a look at some formatting options now. Align center, bold. How to dictate a Word document. Backspace. Question mark. New line. Left the line. Bold. So as you can see there, when I put in the question, it came up with a semicolon rather than a question mark. But as you can see there as well, I easily deleted by backspacing and then putting in the question mark by saying those commands. And at the very end there, I said bold again, and that was just to switch off the boldness. So I'm now gonna go through the commands for creating a list. So I'm gonna start with a, a numbered list. Start numbered list. Open office.com from browser. Next line. Open Word. Next line. Click dictate, exit list. Now, sorry to sound robotic when I go through this, but I notice that when I speak normally, it doesn't always pick up what I'm saying straight away. So I tend to do it in, in stages. But uh, as you go to get used to it, um, you can speed things up a bit uh, with the commands once you get confident with it. So let me try uh, another type of list. I'm gonna look at a bulleted list now. So let's start the dictation. Notes, colon, next line, start list. Switch on auto punctuation, next line. Use commands, next line. You can also transcribe a meeting, exit list. So cool, isn't it? I love it. Another thing you can do is that you can add notes to your dictation or comments. So let me show you. Add comment, create transcribe video. And as you can see there, on the right hand side, it's added a comment. 
Now, if you wanted to add a blank comment and then free text type it in, all you need to do is just say add comment and it will just add a blank one to the right hand side. Now you notice that as I was doing my dictation, some of the words are underlined. So this is where word is not too sure of the word. Uh, so if I click here, it will give me some suggestions. So from here, you just click on what it's suggesting, or you can click on ignore. There's nothing to stop you from clicking into there and then just using the keyboard to correct it. Now, if you're interested in learning how to transcribe a meeting, then watch this video here, or you can watch this video that YouTube is suggesting. And I will see you in the next video.